everybody. Welcome back to the Epic Craft Shop. Got a nice little project in store. Going to be building a couple of display tables, twin matching display tables for two young men who are into fly tying. Come around and show you what I got to work with for materials some five quarter uh, by about roughly eight feet long I think it's about nine inches wide I got some eight quarter full two inch thick two befores that are uh, roughly eight foot long then I've got some really nice wide 12 inch wide 16 inch wide uh, five quarter plank <laughs> Just a modification of a, a half of a half lap joint. So in other words, I've put a lap on on the leg, but did not use a lap on the uh, stretcher. It's an angled table, so you can see the angle. And what I've done is I have glued and used a one inch drywall screw, simply to provide the clamping pressure of a screw while the glue set up. I did this yesterday, so the glue set up for a good 24 hours. So the next step would be to simply, once the glue has set up, is to remove the screws, which is what I've done on this one. Then I picked a dowel size that was bigger than the dent that the screw made. So a half inch hole was enough to get beyond the dent created by the bugle head screw. So I'm gonna use half inch dowels to dowel this joint. Here we have the joint glued up, doweled up, and the dowels have been uh, sitting here for just a few minutes. I'm gonna let the glue cure up, and tomorrow I'm gonna use my finished saw to get the plugs down to almost flush and then sand them smooth. Okay, so here are the legs. They are completed, at least completely assembled. They're glued up and pegged. Take a little closer look here. Took the time to lay them out symmetrically on the joint, each one. Down here, I mirrored the same layout up there as I did down here. And this joint here is a uh, mortise and tenon joint. It's got a clearance all the way around the perimeter. And on the bottom, you can see the wedged uh, tenon. So that should be a nice, good, strong uh, mortise and tenon and peg joint on the bottom, and then a half lap peg joint on the top. Four made. Now let's get the glue to set up overnight. We'll sand it all down in the morning. All right, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back up to Craft. Here we are looking at the finished product. Uh, ran out of time due to trying to hit a deadline and so missed some of the b-roll footage of me actually constructing this thing so what i'm going to do is just a quick walk around and show you uh, one of two identical fly tying display and organization tables uh, i got a client who has two sons he wanted these for his sons who are into fly tying and so each table has 90 compartments and uh, got some custom legs here scroll work on the feet the joint down there as we saw in our earlier part of the video was a wedged mortise and tenon got a simple stretcher on the back of the legs that's just simply uh, screwed and plugged with wood plugs sanded smooth the corners of the table are um, rabbited lapped joints that are screwed and plugged and the compartments here are all removable um, if you look, you'll see, you can pull these out and make larger compartments uh, as you wish, with the exception of the uh, two extreme end columns. The extreme left and the extreme right, those are fixed, 
just because of the manner in which I constructed the table. So out of the 10 columns, eight of them have adjustable, um, removable little dividers. Pretty happy with the way it came out. I'll be presenting them to the owner this afternoon. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Thank you.